In December 2004, Janita's two-year-old sister, Nicolina, started showing the same symptoms. The local health authority requested permission from the UN Health Officer in Mitrovice to take Nicolina to Belgrade for treatment. Dr. Shevchenko, the UN Health Officer, refused. In April, after seeing Nicolina having convulsions and falling in and out of consciousness, a local NGO, Kosovo Roma Refugee Foundation, took Nicolina to a hospital in Belgrade where she was treated for lead poisoning. Today, Nicolina and her family are the only ones to have escaped from the UN camps and be medically treated. They now live in the small village of Preluge, 20 kilometers from the source of poisoning, where an American donor has bought them a small piece of land to build a new home. Despite Nicolina's improved condition, her father is still concerned about her health. All children conceived in the camps will have irreversible brain damage. So what is being done about it? After six years and 29 deaths, the UN is not following medical advice and evacuating the camps. Instead, the UN has started delivering small amounts of food and juice every other week, the first food aid since 2002. No children or pregnant women, the most vulnerable, are being medically treated for lead poisoning, only given provisions in exchange for empty juice boxes from the week before. The UN administration in Kosovo says the only solution is to send the gypsy IDPs back to their old, destroyed neighborhood in South Mitrovice. All fear to return. Tina Gidic, a Romani staff member for Society for Threatened Peoples, was afraid for her own safety on a recent visit to the old Mahala while making this film. We were raiding an event in the old Mahala. I was with my Romani friend who is the driver and one group of Albanians came and they threatened us. They said that we have to get lost from that Mahala and we don't have rights to go there. So I think if IDPs from the camp ever go back to that Mahala, they will always have problems with Albanians and I think they will burn down their houses again. Most people wonder what the solution will be, including Gushani Skender, one of the leaders of the IDP camps. Zajedno se napravila katastrofalnu grešku izgradnjom tog naselja u neposrednoj glizini, nije se vodilo računa i to je kobno i tragično po sve žitelje, ako se zove, a posebno Rome. Deca mi je bolestan, žena mi je bolestan, možda i ja sam bolestan, svi su djeca nervazan, i žena i ja. Džavi, šta da i kući da nam daje, ne treba ni kući ni ništa. Does this little girl have any hope for a better life? She was born in a camp built on toxic wasteland. She was born with irreversible brain damage. The UN is turning a blind eye to her plight. Will you too?